Hey, I just want to show you everybody here that it looks like that whole Damascus becoming ruinous heat prophecy is uh, really kind of went mainstream. So let's start with that Pudauber uh, Glenn Beck, his website, The Blaze. Why some believe these end times Bible verses could hold the key to the Syrian crisis. Now we'll go over to the Huffington Post. Isaiah 17, is Syria war part of Jesus' second coming? coming? Christians and Muslims quote scripture. And then we'll finish with the USA Today. Some are pointing to Old Testament passages that predict the destruction of Damascus and a civil war in Egypt. So I'll put all these links below for anybody who wants to read them to them a little bit more than just the headlines. They're uh, pretty interesting. I can't remember which ones, either the USA Today or the Huffington Post one, where they actually had some Bible scholars quote-unquote chime in. And, and according to these guys, the the uh, behold, the burden of, of Damascus is no longer a city. It's become a ruinous heap. Happened a long time ago. So according to them, it's already happened. Whether or not that's the case, I don't know. I just was kind of taken by surprise because they're actually not just like calling this crazy or calling us believing in it crazy. They're actually giving it a pretty sort of semi-serious tone to it. So I was a little surprised by that. And uh, this is also from Sunday from the Drudge Report. Now you can see in the top here, on the top of the page it says, Some see biblical visions of doom in, uh, let me back that up, sorry. Some see biblical visions of doom in Syria trouble. And then it's not, it's not on there now, but I'm just saying this was Sunday. And when I caught it, I wanted to make a video on Sunday of this, uh, the front page of Judge Report. And then it's down here again. Some see biblical visions of doom. Now, <clears throat> I've been going to the Judge Report about every day, several times a day since 2010, since, or 2010, 2011. And I really, to be honest with you, can't remember the last time that I've seen the same headline twice. Now, does that really mean anything? Probably not, and maybe it happens all the time. So those of you who do go to this website all the time and are very familiar with it, if you do, if you are very familiar with seeing um, um, the same headline twice, and if it happens all the time, please chime in below and say, yeah, it happens all the time. I, I've seen it not that long ago. That'd be great, because I could be wrong. It could happen all the time. I'm just saying that I don't remember it in recent memory, and I find it very odd that this whole Damascus prophecy is going mainstream, and it's mentioned twice on the Drudge Report. So, could be something, could be nothing, have no idea. Just kind of caught me off guard because ever since I learned this prophecy, I've always been kind of wondering how the media is going to spin it, if they're even going to mention it's, that it's that's in the Bible at all, but it appears they certainly are, and they're treating it with a little bit more respect than I actually ever kind of imagined. So, I just thought that was interesting, and I wanted to share it with everybody. So, the links will be below. Thank you to my teammates and subscribers, and thank you to my wife for videotaping, and I'll see you all later. Bye.